Uh-oh. Kira. Come on, Mama. Come. Come on. Come. Good girl. girl. Okay. Easy. I know. I know. You know me. <laughs> this is the old guy. Yes, this is Buster, and that's his normal post. Okay. Good girl, Lottie. Easy. How, how, about, how much has she bullied uh -huh. him since we saw you? Actually, not much. She's really been doing good this week, but okay. I have also been eagle eye on her. Okay. Um, and I put in cameras that I can talk through. Okay. <laughs> because we do spend a lot of time out. My husband's got a bar out in the shop. Okay. And if I leave them in here, I want to be able to see what's going on. Right. Right. So that's pretty typical typical of her introduction when people come in. Okay. Is it frustrating? Yes. <laughs> I can tell. And if it's somebody that she knows, she, a lot of times she'll jump, mm -hmm. depending on who it is. There are certain people that she knows... You know, our friend Dave, he's he's pretty good with right. just kind of ignoring her. Right. But I can't, tra you know, I can't train everybody that comes through my door to ignore her. <laughs> so do you have her collar with you? Yes. So we could change it in tone. So it's a little, we're starting to take on her personality a little bit. you real quick and then we'll have you do it and we'll come in and then Anna will stay here with you okay but when she's at the door and I already know just looking at her I know she knows stuff yeah she's not she done does. right <laughs> and the tone to me better uh, communicates to the dog because you can we you do it at the same time you can just, no right mm -hmm. and then you'll see her ears pin back yeah right when you vibrate sometimes they think you're shocked Right. So and they, like, they uh -huh. don't, it doesn't come across, right? So when I come up this time, um, when she starts to go to the door versus trying to pull her back, I want you to hit the tone and then say the word command. You can either say wait, what I use with tone is wait. And then I, when I use uh, no, I usually use vibrate. Um, I'm sorry, stimulation. But you can say wait or leave it. I use leave it a lot. Okay. So she's familiar with that Then command. leave it would be the command. Okay. And you're just going to say at the same time when you press the button. Okay. All right. The knock. Yeah, okay. because most people knock. So, the, so then I'll knock. Okay. Right, because she, he already been in the house, so. Right. It's fine, <laughs> but I still want you to tone it. Okay. So just we can so start working. Aware. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Perfect. And now you can come over to let me in. If she tries to bully and get in front of you like I came in before, just tone her and then walk back. Okay. No. 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 There you go. A lot. A 
lot better, Perfect. right? Perfect. Yes. And we see in a bigger difference with the tone than the vibrate. Yes, because it's not like. No, it's no she's jumping. Not like, oh, what's happening? Right. It's just the tone is telling her to listen to you. Mm -hmm. You know. Come. Good girl. Good girl. So those impulses to charge at the door. Uh, bully everyone, and I don't mean it in a bad way, but just she, yeah, get all over what ex overexcited and right, just, you know. Usually, she just wants to see who's there, and you know, she wants love, right? And then introducing a new puppy, she's more riled up, mm -hmm. and he's calm, yes, you this know, is his right. entire day. He hasn't moved sleeping here where he gets up and walks out, yeah, down. he hasn't moved since we got here, no. right. So one command that we're going to have to work on is stay. Yes. Right. So that you can say, hey, go place. Imply it. Stay. You shouldn't have to use the word command. Stay. You told her to go place. And then people come in and out. And then you release her to go meet them. Okay. So that's one thing we're going to work on. How is she outside in your yard? We don't. Usually she's in the front yard. Mm -hmm. We haven't really done her in the backyard yet because initially she was. She, she runs away. Run. Okay. So we haven't tested. Okay. Because <laughs> she's do she's doing much better now, but we haven't we're, tested it ourselves. We're, okay. We're nervous. Do you want to test tested. it today? Sure. Okay. Yeah. So cool. we'll test the impulse today. She has on a martingale, right? Yes. I don't know if my Herm Springer is long enough. Let's see. I've got this one um not a that when she was a puppy going on about this come here mama nah it's not gonna fit it's too small we could yeah we can use it without it i did, normally when we use the herm springer they don't try to run off okay but when you have the you have the uh, remote that's fine and so what, what is what are my actions if she tries you're, to run you're gonna handle the leash i mean the uh remote okay go ahead and uh put her on this Kira, leave it. <laughs> Lottie, come. She's adorable. Good girl, sit. Uh -uh. Sit, good girl. All right, so we're going to go out here. Is little mama coming or are we going to keep her in here? No, we'll, we'll keep her in here. All she right. Gets, she's distracted. If you okay. want, we can put her in here. Okay. Inside. Good girl. Ooh. Hey. Come. Good job. So we'll just go right over here. <laughs> All right, so let me see your remote. All right, and let me see your leash. So everything is paired to this remote, right? So if she starts pulling this way and I say, no, here, no, good girl, sit. What I'm doing is I'm pairing that tone with my commands, right? So she started pulling and I say, no, here, Good girl. Sit. Down. Sit. Good girl. Down. Down. I know you know down. I've seen you do it. Come on. Down. I know. Your mama's right there. Come on. Here. So, you know how you had to vibrate? Yes. You could be vibrating while you were giving those commands, or you could be toning. Now, most remotes, the old remotes have vibrate tone stimulation well the mini educator you got to switch back and forth right. i rather use the tone because it's an easier process for the dog to get than to use the vibration because it's 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 a jumpy motion and they start saying am i getting stimulated you know what i mean yes so right so i like the, that correct they start acting really timid you know when you you can see the difference between the tone when you give the commands versus the stimulation so if I was to say, here, no, she'd just bow her head and walk back to you with a tone, right? If I were to say that and I was stimulating her, she would probably, yeah. you know, be yeah. more, more sensitive, which could trigger some other stuff with the other dogs, okay. if that makes sense. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? don't want her to be overstimulated right. and take it out on something. Right, and if you pair it with the tone first, it's a lot easier than a vibration because when you do say a command and if you do it, if I were to say here at the same time, right? So then when I say here, right, it starts to, it's a lot, 
Right, because tones. In Parvo's Law, they use the tone to treat the dogs. And whenever they heard that bell, they start to salivate. Yeah. So tones are going to be a, a faster way than the vibration. All right. Right. I like that. I you like know. It. If I were working with a protection dog and say he was biting and we wanted to teach him the owl command, we're going to use a vibration because it'll vibrate here and the dog will release. Right. Gotcha. We don't want to shock the dog yeah. because then the dog's going to be like, oh, my God, I don't want to do this game. You guys are shocking me. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. that's where you see the difference in using the tone and the vibration. I like it that you have it on 10 because that's the perfect working level for a dog. I hate it when I see it. It's on like 50 or 60. The dog's oh, not no, getting no, it. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. They're not getting it. And I can tell by looking at her, she's very sensitive. Yes. Right. So when, when your homework for now is going to be the worker on this, the one thing we want to start with is stay. Yes. That starts with impulse, right? If she can down, she can stay. The best way to do it. She's, re she's slow on down. Mm -hmm. She knows it, but it's. Yeah. The best thing is to put her in a down stay. Okay. That will start to elevate. You already have the beds. Yes. So if you were to put her on the bed and you put her in a down stay and you said, always use verbal, uh, physical first because dogs going to see it. Yes. Right. So if you were to put her on the bed and you said, stay, you use your hand. Stay. Then you take two steps back. If she gets off the mat, that's fine. You just take her and put her back on the mat. Okay. After about the 15th time, then she'll say, okay, I got to stay here. Right? Okay. Now, when you want her to come to you off the mat, then you can do for recall. So then she's on the mat, she's down, and you say, here. And then you just press a button. She's going to, whenever you say here, she's going to think about that tone. Gotcha. Right? And once she starts working more on her impulse of not charging the door, go into a place and stay, you'll see a lot of the impulsive behavior start to subside. She'll be able to say, okay, I'm not going to go bite him because mommy put me in the stay. All right. You know, so, I mean, you see it just wearing out because they were going crazy at the front door. She's already hyped up. Next thing you know, old man's chilling and she doesn't like the way he's looking at her, right? She's right. still in a worked up mind, all the dopamine, and then she's attacking him. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he's right there. And he'll, like you saw, he'll stand up, but he doesn't really. Yeah. Because it takes work for him to get off that bed. And right. Do it, so he just kind of stands right. up. And see, and remember when last time you came, you were having, she was pulling you a lot on the martingale. Um, yeah. So just slow her down. You can, no, here, right? So I don't have to stimulate her because she's already been stimulated before she knows how it works, right? So, but she, now this is a whole new thing with the tone with her, right? So I want to have control of her. So when she starts to pull away from me, I can know here. And I'm going to start making her do obedience commands. You know what I mean? Right here. Here. Sit. Good girl. We'll walk again. She'll start to pull. No. Here. Sit. Good girl. Right? And to the part where I can basically if she needs to check in with me which she's not doing she's pulling she's really pulling the martingale mm -hmm. uh best way to stop all that pulling action it will be at least three or four weeks of some uh, uh um training with the uh Hermspringer just to show her because that's going to stop her from pulling you can go back to the martingale behind it is completely understand how that tool works right. when it's being used right um, if I was to put her on a prong collar and she pulled me for like, say six months, you're never going to stop it because now she's conditioned herself. I'll pull in a prong collar. Yeah. So it's a short term training thing. You see people with their dogs, they're living in those prong collars. That's not what it's for. It's, Hey, we're going to go for a walk. It's a training collar. I'm going to put it on. And I know my husband's going to be hesitant to that type of a collar. Mm. Well, the one, the choke collar that you actually have in there is worse than a prong collar. Okay. It's actually killed a lot of dogs. Yeah, that's why I told you, no, I'm not using that. It chokes them out. And that's what the other trainer suggested. He no, started her on that. really, no. That, and then you, suggested. That, that's my personal happening, opinion it's, because. As far as like the pipes, you're crushing it slowly but surely. After a while, the dog. Oh, man. Right. So the purpose of the prong collar, have you ever been around a litter of puppies? Yes. All right. And when they're getting stupid, what does mom do? grabs them on the back of the neck and yeah. say, hey, you need to knock it off. Yeah. That's what it does. Okay. It's just a temporary, and it doesn't, it, it should be like the martingale 
when it's set up to where she doesn't feel it unless she tries to jerk. Right. Right. Okay. So it corrects the action. If you're if you have it on the dog and you're not correcting the action by following up with a command like leave it or no, then there's no purpose for it to be on the dog because they don't understand. Right? right. Because once I take the prong off and I put her back on a flat collar or a martingale, then when I give those commands, she's going to respond like she was on the prong collar. So when I when I start doing that, um, I'm probably going to want to start with no and then here. Yes. Yeah, so we'll, the best place with her since she's an older dog is we're going to start with stay. Okay. So we're going to start with place and stay. Okay. And then we're going to have start with recall with her coming to you. Okay. So that's what we'll start off with now her. She does, there is an ottoman in my living room that she gets up onto like when we're eating and mm -hmm. stuff. That's the one time that I'll get, she'll go up and stay. Okay. <laughs> like when we're eating. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Every dog knows how to sit, stay down here. They just do it on their terms. Yes. Right. And then we use our verbals. If you pair it properly, if you're doing it with the remote or you're doing it with treats, if you pair it properly, then you can just use your verbal. Right. And that's what I'm working for. Right. And if it never connects, then the dog never understands. And then you're frustrated and the dog is frustrated. Right. Yeah. So the easier way to pair those commands is either with a treat or a toe. Right. Even if you had a button, that's why we use a clicker. Even if you had a button and you just, right. <laughs> So it's the, it's the only way we communicate with them, right? So if she's looking at something, say it's a squirrel and you didn't want her to run towards it, you would say, leave it, leave it. And then you see immediately, she slowed down to like, hey, I hear that. Watch her ears. I'm gonna see if I can get her ears up. Leave it. You see how she's got her ears dumped back, mm -hmm. right? Girl. And then she's sitting in front of you. I wish I had the long line because we could have had her out here all the way. And I was going to bring some treats, but I wanted to see how she was without the treats and everything. I knew you already had started this with another trainer. I said, we'll just set it up and I'll show you. It's the impulse. Mm -hmm. You know, if you see how she is at the door, then you can understand how she's going after him. Yes. And I would love to be able to control that. Right. You know, when we, when we train with protection dogs or any type of aggression dogs, they're going to look at what is triggering them, right? If I have my protection dog and the guy with the mask triggers my dog and he takes off and goes and bites the guy without me giving him the command to do that, I have no control over it. So he needs to be able to look at the threat or whatever it is and not react, right? Because then we're not doing that until I say we're doing something. So that's where the state comes in. Right, okay. right. So if you have protection dogs who at the height of their, you know, their desire, who wants to go kill this decoy, and they can control themselves, she can control herself, right? And it's all about how you introduce it. Some people get frustrated and they turn this collar up and they punish the dog and, you know what I mean? So the best way to do it is just use the verbal. What is she, police dog? <laughs> <laughs> She's smoking, <laughs> I know, right? She's like, found the kitten or something, right? <laughs> But she's really good. Like I said, I saw it start up. I bet you all day today she's been fine in there. Yeah. And as soon as we came, she got wired up yeah. at the window. And then the little one was moving around, around her. She did. There was people walking down the street a little while ago that she was out there barking at. She was out there barking at, yeah. And this is a good thing. Like, for instance, if you say you have her on this side and you're on this side and you're just sitting here smoking or something and you hear her barking, you can say her name and then tone her and say no. And it will stop immediately. Right, because she already knows we've made this command for recall. We're gonna make it for recall and the leave it command. Right. Yes, because I am definitely interested in her knowing that if we know there's not a threat, she doesn't have to bark at it. Correct. So you would, I mean, initially she's an animal, so you would, she doesn't know. You know, some guy's walking right here, she's just barking at it, and then you say, oh, there's nobody. Leave it, she'll go sit down somewhere. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. But She's what, searching for something. <laughs> I know. But her bed. Uh, could you grab her bed? I know I needed the pockets. Down. Good girl. Good girl. She's probably going to pop back up. Stay. No. Down. Down. Stay. Stay. Good girl. <laughs>
She's so excited. I told you she'll do anything to get a Down. Drink. Yeah. No. She just Down. 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 You're so excited. Stay. No. Wait. Good girl. Okay. Down. No. Down. Good stay. Good stay. Good yes, job. Mama.